Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be removing the card slot on the Sony A7S Mark II. I had this camera out on rental and the client shoved the SD card in backwards damaging the card slot. So I need to pull the card slot and then order parts. So in this video, I'll just be opening up the camera, getting through all the layers that I need to, to get to the card slot and removing the card slot. There will not be a reinstall in this video, just the removal. Thanks for watching. Should be pretty simple. We'll see. It's still scary though. I'm going to leave this screw because I can pull it off last. Or after I take this off, I can pull this off because it's, it's not actually connected. So I'm going to wait on that one. There's a couple screws in here. All these screws are the same size. The only screw I've seen so far that's a different size is underneath the headphone jack. There's a screw hole there, and that screw hole is a smaller screw. So I have some double-sided tape on the piece of paper. I have the camera mapped out, and I'm able to stick my screws down. That way I can look at it later. This double-sided tape is holding the screws where it needs to be and then that way in a week or two, whenever the part comes in, I can easily reference this and not screw myself over. And don't make fun of me. I don't have a body cap for this camera, so I just taped my, I just taped a Canon body cap on it. All right, I know these screws need to come off. Taking off the EVF now. So I think it's just those it's just those four screws holding that in. Don't make fun of my drawing. I am not a professional at all. This will be my first time taking apart a camera and I can't believe I'm doing it with this camera. But I don't have a warranty on it. I've, uh, I've had the camera for about three years now. I bought it used and I rented it out to a bunch of different companies. So the cameras, this camera's paid off tenfold. Like it's paid for itself and I've made money off of it. So if I was to damage it, it's not a total loss, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to repair this. And if I'm not able to, then maybe I'll spend a few hundred dollars to get it repaired um, down the road. But I think I'd rather spend that money on a different camera than getting this one repaired because, you know, it is what it is, and it's it's useless without an SD card slot. So I could probably, I mean, I could probably hook up like a Atomos monitor and record through the HDMI, and it'll still be useful. So as long as I don't mess it up any more than it already is, then I can always go that route and use it as a B cam that always has a monitor on it. All these screws here are the same size, so I'm just gonna put them in an SD card case and label it once I'm uh, done taking it apart. Ooh, that one's kinda tight. Be careful pulling that one out. You might strip it. I feel like I'm nearly stripping it now. All right. I love the SD card case because it'll literally fit all this in there, no problem. So the wheel, Wheel's just the one screw. So I'm just gonna keep that in there, put that in the SD hard case here. And this should just come up now. It's got a little adhesive behind it. Adhesive's coming up. Just a cover that's held on by four screws and the screw that goes through the wheel. So now that that's done, close up the SD card. And I'll just put that like that. I'm gonna mark it with this right here. EVF. Put that aside. Boom. All right. Starting to look a little complicated here.
really easy. I'm, I'm interested to see if this camera's been taken apart before, because I can't tell just by looking at the screws right now. Got one. And two. They are the same size as the other screws. That's the screw right here. It's the same size as the rest of the screws on the outside. So I'm just putting all those into this little tray here. All right, now we got to pull the screen. There's a bunch of screws behind the screen here. So we're just pulling these screws out right here. One, two, three, four five six screws are there and there's yeah and then we should be close to opening it up okay yeah so I don't know if that, that was uh, visible but if you open the screen up to this side of the screen you take a screwdriver you push up right here, there's these two tabs. You just push up, it'll release the the backing there. Oh, I gotta be careful with this. You can probably hear the chickens out there making noise. So when I gotta put it back in, I gotta do it from like right here. Put it back in, so. I'm gonna put that in there with in the SD card case with the screws. God, I love using an SD card case for little screws. Okay, well this is where it starts to get a little scary because that ribbon on the back of the camera there, if I rip that, then I have to order another ribbon and then I have to replace that. I'm pretty sure those ribbons are like 100, 100 bucks. So, there's two more screws here. I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew them as well. There's a screw here, a screw there. Go ahead and unscrew this. This one was loose. Got it. And it is a different size than all the screws. So I need to make a diagram to put these screws in because these are different. Two, one, and two. And then I'm gonna put my screws right there on that double side tape. I feel like this is a, a good workflow. Got one screw here. That's two. Boom. Stick it to the double side tape and we are clear. Could be using little trays for these and just label them that way. But I feel like with my ADD, this might be the best move. It's just to put these on here with tape. And then I'll have uh, a great reference here. Or display. Okay, so I've got a toothpick here, and I'm going to try and show you this on these cameras, but there's a ribbon right here, and if I feel like just kind of peel it off, kind of like I would peel off a sticker. There it goes. Look at that. All right, that does look a little different than the A7R and then it has those little prongs on the side there. But this hopefully will make it easier for me to do if I clamp this down now. Oh, I can do a real good deep cleaning too whenever I'm done. All right, so I'm just gonna sit this flat down like this. And then hopefully I'm able to just pull the camera apart and lay it down. I've got this long ribbon here Hopefully I can slide all of the layers out over the screen ribbon without having to, to take any of that apart. It probably wouldn't be that hard, but I'm gonna do my best not to take anything apart that I don't have to to do this project. I need to pull that sticker off anyways. Oh, and there's one hiding under my label. Put that right there. And we're gonna pull this, probably the last screw, and put it with the rest of the body screws. 
close to 30 screws, probably 27 or 28 screws. Go on, try to get this stuff out. I'm gonna close these up. I don't think these need to be open to do this. So these are closed. So gaffer's tape. I'm gonna use that just to tape the screen down. Make it a little easier to pull it out, hopefully, without the screen. Mess bouncing around. Our hair's starting to come loose there. Oh yeah, it's starting to slide out real nice. Kind of giving it a little love on each side. I'm starting to get a little nervous. Nothing seems to be binding too much. Double check the, uh, make sure there's room for the monitor ribbon to move around a little bit and safe so I'm actually gonna lift this up now slide that through oh it's scary it's so scary it's gotta sit it down like I said I wanted it to work or just like I wanted it to work looks like a little bit of corrosion in there must have got wet that's, yeah, that's not what you want to see you don't want to see all that corrosion back there okay so I'm taking a box of screws and sliding it underneath this so it's flat and there's no tension on the ribbon here you see there's like a little bit of movement there because this is it this is the shutter control this is the record button this is all the buttons right here and it's scary because this whole thing needs to move out of the way to get to the SD card reader so let's start pulling screws let's pull this screw out Okay. All right, one silver screw there. There's a black one on the side here. I'm gonna have to get another light in here. Soon. This is getting pretty dark. Let's see, there's another screw hidden down here. Oh, there it is. There's a little tape. Right there. That black is tape. And that needs to come off. All right, there's that tape. That needs to come off the whole piece, I think. Sure, what that was for. That's starting to come up. Okay. So I have to flip this back up to get to those. There's a screw here. That we skipped earlier. 
can now come off and then this bottom plate is going to completely come off too. I'm guessing that way you can replace the quarter th 20 thread if you need to. I'm just going to put the screw back in that hole and leave it with this piece. Came right off. Slip our screen back out. So far, nothing's broken. It feels like I'm not doing too bad here. Okay. That's feeling pretty loose. Oh, this one, this screw right here needs to come off. Oh, and that one is definitely longer than the others. So that's gonna go down there. Just from looking at it, it looks like if I remove this piece, tape here. Move that out of the way. And if you just... So what I'm doing is I'm just holding this down with my thumb and then pushing on this side and then pushing on this side. I'm going to do that until this slowly comes out. probably a little more durable than I'm making it out to be but safety first and I've seen people do this with a screwdriver before I'm just gonna do it with a toothpick all right now that that's out this should flap up and then this silver spot silver piece should be able to come back like that you wiggle, you just gotta wiggle this a little and then it'll come out. And then at this point, this whole piece should be able to flip up. Lift up and then boom, push that out of the way. Now that's probably fine like that, but I like tape. So I'm gonna take a piece of, normally I would use gaff tape, but I'm gonna use paper tape this time. I'm just going to take a little strip of tape and I'm going to grab it on the top like that. And then I'm going to tape it out of my way. All right. So at this point, there's one last screw, I think, down in that hole. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. There's one last screw. and it is longer. So I need to put it on the diagram. All right, now that we did that, I think all we have to do now is lift all this up. I'm hoping that this will just fall back. Oh, we're loose. Yeah, the little plastic piece right here was in the way of the metal frame, so now it should just pop right out. There we go. I'm just gonna fold this back. And sit it right clean like that. Look at that. And this right here, it's my SD card reader. There's a little bracket right here that just slides in. You pull that up. This screw needs to come out. Take 
that screw out. And this needs to be, it's so small, definitely need to put that in an SD case. So, to remove this ribbon, this piece right here locks down and pops up. I'll try to lock it back down for you, but just take your toothpick or whatever you're using and just flip that up. That'll be flat down like that. You just flip that up and then this should just come right out. And then boom. And that's it. Buy you a new one of these or uh, make sure you buy the, the card slot and the board. If you don't tear your ribbon up, then you can reuse the ribbon. But yeah, now all you have to do is just uh, do that in reverse and uh, Bob's your uncle. Not too bad, probably took about 20 minutes to really do it. If you knew what you're doing, if I it took me about an hour to do it, but if I was to have to do it again, it would go much faster. All right. All right, guys, well, that's it. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope that this helped you out. Uh, like I said, I wasn't able to find a video like this online, so I just went ahead and made it. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe if you like this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.